We're filming on the coldest day of the year. <laughs> it dropped 31 degrees overnight. And it all starts here at our first stop, Tranquility. <laughs> Food trends come and go, but bubble tea, also known as boba, has definitely made its mark here in the 21st century. Today, we will be trying some of the most cutting-edge flavors of boba here in one of the most expensive neighborhoods in Queens, Long Island City. This shop is special because it sells fresh baked goods and dim sum in addition to boba and teas and fruit teas. A lot to snack on. For sip of boba, cheer. It's soft and chewy. The flavor, texture, and the packaging is kind of like a throwback. It reminds me of like the drinks I had in high school. And a hot drink, which is perfect for today because it's freaking cold today. Sweet and gingery. You know what's so funny? These shumais are huge. They're like the same size as the bun. And the buns are tiny. <laughs> so cute. I love it. Whoa, well, we finished it. That's a good bite. Like, we get three of these, you're kind of like done for breakfast. But we're not done. If I do live here myself, you will see me here a lot. Whenever we get these buns, you can't resist looking at what's in the inside. Because what's on the inside is what counts. Whoa! Mm. Mm. Chachkabao. You know my mom sells bubble tea too. But these are better than my mom's bubble tea. Sorry, mom. <laughs> but you know what? My mom makes the on top too. My mom makes the best on top of all time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Saved. <laughs> Saved. <laughs> First stop, complete. Here comes the cold. Oh. <sighs> down a lot more to go oh thank you yeah <laughs> wow this interior is so big so spacious so stunning <laughs> is it hard to be a certified boba maker difficult but boba I have recently. to wake up early and get here um, at around 10 and then I spend like three hours in the kitchen it's hard work I've always wanted to be a boba barista, you know, uh -huh. I love boba because you know, I'm Asian. So. Yeah. You work here, I just, I'm just here as a customer. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It's the finished product. I mean, my coworker likes to do it with one hand, just like that. But I'm actually very careful with my drinks. I care about the quality. Who's yeah. a coworker? <laughs> honey is our specialty. Yeah. I'm so excited for the honey boba. So they have honey boba, black sesame boba, and brown sugar boba. We got all of them. <laughs> get this, get this one. Is that oh. gonna melt? Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. Oh. Last ice, please. First try. That was How perfect. did I do? That was perfect. Yeah? You should, you should work here. <laughs> you said this is the hardest drink to make in the, in the shop, so I'm gonna do it. Okay. That's a Just honey boba. Take a Just scoop. It around first. Yeah, you gotta like mix it so it doesn't stick to each other. Great. Wow. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> oh, okay, right. and then your favorite part, adding the ice. Oh, yeah. You should be a pro at this. Just a little more. Just one click? Yes. Perfect. Ooh. And then add the milk tea. Just pull the handle down. I'm scared. How much do I go? Until it fills up the cup. Oh, okay. Keep going? I mean, until it fills up. The <laughs> okay, perfect. Oh, that's it. Just place it. Yeah, see? <gasps> that's so bad, right? Oh. And then click this button. Manual operation. <gasps> and then it seals it for you. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. And then you I can take pick it up. Yeah, and then shake it around just a little. Yeah. This is the first bowl I ever made. That's crazy. You're, you're a natural. Whoa, whoa. Okay, all right. <laughs> How did I do? Oh, seven out of ten. Oh, can you get a picture you guys? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Uh, I'm Brayden. I'm a barista and I uh, also give us advice. Oh. True story? True. Who's the best bull barista here? Probably Nicole over there. Nice. She's smart. The worst. He's the worst. Oh, it's Bing Su. Oh. It's 
Good stuff. <laughs> Some kind of shit. They gotta hire me. <laughs> Thanks. We're here at Wenzo Tapioca, and this space is so huge. That's why we're able to stand and film here. <laughs> oh. Comes right off. Tapioca, coffee jelly, the lychee jelly, the raisins, and the doriyaki. I love bingsu. Then this is bubble tea bingsu. We had to get it. These boba is a lot more jelly-like. Ah. I think the consistency has to be a little different because you're putting on shaved ice. Boba toppings are awesome. So Wenzo is actually the first cafe ever to make the boba in-house. And they have multi-flavored boba. So this one is the honey boba, which is the most popular. And this is the brown sugar boba. And they also have black sesame boba. If you think she memorized that, no, she didn't. <laughs> one. It has like a very light, buttery taste to it. Mmm, that's for sweet lovers. You could tell it's made with real tea because there's a little hint of bitterness to it. Yeah. I love the Oreos in here. It can withhold me and the boba. <laughs> this place is so Insta-worthy. Hey, this is like a nice cafe to come and work in. A playground for big kids. <laughs> the very basic milk tea. One of the most creative. And they nailed them both. Mm. Thank you. The next spot is right across the street. No, it's that way. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, it is. But that across the street. Wait, it's actually right there. <laughs> Thank goodness these are all right next to each other. Uh, as we already said, <laughs> guys, it's a struggle today, man. But as we already said, there's a lot of bubble tea spots in LIC, and some of them are like right on the same block as each other. But that's a good thing for us because it's cold today. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Moji Tea. It started in mainland China and has over 64 locations here in the US. Wow, so many locations, but it hits every time. They pride themselves in their super fresh ingredients. I always remember it as a very glossy looking store with a very fun, vibrant, colorful drinks. And they also serve a great selection of snacks. Wow. Peach Oolong Tea. And I spelled the T tea, T E E, just like Moji Tea. And I'm surprised that Ben likes it because. He's a little skeptical in the beginning, but now he loves it. Give me your most basic, give me your most exotic. Cheers! Mm -hmm. I need to get to the peach oolong tea. Hopefully it's not all cheese. You gotta use a straw, or else it's gonna be all cheese in your mouth. You could put this over here. Yeah. These cups are very high quality. Yeah, remember I said <laughs> that Moji tea is always like the vibrant, colorful one to me? Oh, now it's the darkest. Yeah. I feel like the actual boba tapioca is being phased out slowly. I think people are slowly into just the drink itself. Which is crazy because each drink is like over $5 just for the drink. But to be fair, you do get fresh fruits and high quality ingredients in all these drinks. Dun, 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 dun. We got spicy eel, we got eel. Onigiri. Alright, I never know how to do these properly. There's instruction that comes with this. <laughs> Peeled from the middle okay. first. And then the next step is pull the side. Oh. What? Nope. <sighs> Not bad. See, I got it. And buns. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Up, mm, the up of the side. I don't want to get my hands dirty. That's oh, the point. Oh, shit. You don't... Bro, is this your first time? Mm, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. OGT is so popular here in Long Island City that they have a second location. Mm -hmm. Just a few blocks now, closer to the water. Bro, I love this song. Bro, this boba tour is crazy. What are you gonna do with all Yay, these? Yay, I'm gonna drink them all, duh.
lasting for the longest time because of a very eye-catching aesthetic. Cheers. Oh yeah, cheers. The boba is so sweet. Mm. Really sweet. TZ is another tea shop that has high quality ingredients from the tea leaves to the tapioca. So the slogan is keep calm and drink more tea. Fitting for the vibe and aesthetic of this place. Yeah, this place, it doesn't have any desks. It just has these little circles for you to sit on because it's more a social place yeah. where you to drink tea. Oh, this is so good. Mm -hmm. The oats add another layer of flavor that really makes this <coughs> traditional bubble tea different. We're enjoying it. I think all the sugar is actually from Taiwan. Oh. Very authentic. No wonder. I think people really appreciate the little touches and you could tell because there's so many people here. Keep calm and drink tea. All right, I'm super full of drinks, but the show must go on. So let's set up more bubble tea spots. We're here at Aicha Boba, and this spot sells milk tea ice bear so you know I had to order that <laughs> this is the classic milk tea it comes separately so that you could pour it over it's really strong tea flavor but before you do that huh no 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 it's delicious I love the bear and Aicha sells Camellia Oolong milk tea. It's the only shop that sells Camellia. I was like, what is Camellia? I googled it. It's a tea plant. This is the Camellia Oolong. Oh, Camellia. You want to try it with us? Yeah, I'll try it. Right. Okay. <laughs> Cheers! Yeah, <it's> <laughs> it's very florally. Yeah. Well, I, I bought a house out there, so... <laughs> <laughs> a coffee latte at 5 p.m. in the evening. <laughs> Toast, sandwiches, crepes. Wait, no, this is not a crepe. But popcorn chicken! Mm, it smells so good. And we're all gonna eat it together. Bon appetit. This is like nostalgic food right here. Yeah. It warms my soul. Yes, yeah. Baked goods with boba goes really well, but boba with comfort food like that, even better. Mexican crispy chicken wrap. Which is good. Mexican crispy chicken wrap. Oh, that's wrap. it? Mm -hmm. that's okay. Mm -hmm. You want a bite? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stoked. This is delicious. Oh, delicious. That's delicious. <laughs> that is lit. <laughs> Pretty sure there's only one eye trouble by here in New York City, if not the whole world. So it makes sense that they put all the effort into this one store. This is my type of one-stop shop as well. Mm, this is good. Yeah. Sure? Yes. So nice to meet you. you. Hi. Are we gonna come over to give you some bubble tea? <laughs> You're being recorded right now. Hi! Oh, no. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> you want to come in? First no, try. we got one more spot to oh. Enjoy! Thanks! Let's try out one more spot. Did we save the best for last? Actually, it's just the most efficient route on the map, but this next spot does hold a special place in our hearts. This glass is all fogged up. Let's see what's inside. Yes! Yes! This is a work of art. We just went to like a whole two handful amount of boba shops in one neighborhood. How many boba shops are there in your neighborhoods? Welcome to LAC where there's a lot of bubble tea shops and we're gonna try half of them. This one's thick. Mm. Fresh mango. Is it that good? There's a lot of cheese in there but it doesn't make you feel too guilty because the straw's on the bottom so I'm getting all the fruit right now. Mm -mm. This tea is super fragrant. It's strong. And the boba is super chewy and bouncy. It has the right amount of QQ. The tapioca balls feel so right in my mouth. Uh, okay. Dude, we love, we love Chongyang. We've been here so many times and never disappoint. Let us know if you want to see a part two of this tour. <laughs> Ronald is part Chinese. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are absolutely again. You're right. Oh, that was a guess. Are you serious? I'm serious. Oh, I am serious. My grandfather's name is John Chita. Who is this mystery man? <laughs> you know, it made, it made my mother. 